ah, 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 Wonders they say shall never end. This one tire me. Okay, this one it tire me like tire. You understand? Did you just see that clip I showed you just now? Did you or did you not see the intro clip? Hold on, don't go anywhere because I'm gonna play the full clip for you to see. I'm gonna try to blur this out because of the terms around here youtube disclaimer let me first of all say if you've got a child a child below the age of 18 around you right now please send them to sunday school send them away with a pack of sweets because what you're about to watch will blow your mind i'm sure it's no news to you that this man here on the screen is dr femi olalege medical director optimal cancer care foundation in nigeria okay this man is the man that you just saw in the intro clip can you believe that a medical practitioner having knocking intercourse with his patients with his female patients now you already know from the title of the video i said who is to blame a dr naka or his victims the women that were his victims that is the question because I'm, i know that most of you have seen this video it's no new news that is him there on the screen looking all professionally seated a medical doctor and you know when someone is a medical doctor you know that huh, he is one in a million he is a kind he's meant to be respected he's one that stands out in the society sure some of you remember growing up and your parents wanted you to be doctors or lawyers you know and once you're a doctor hey mama doctor don't come oh mama doctor don't come everybody respects you for that position and here is this man this man having sexual intercourse with his patients and i gather from the information i gather this man is married with kids and his victims were also some of them married and some of them single welcome to this channel i am trisha king the storyteller my duty here is to bring you hot stories and just talk about this with you and get you to learn a thing or two from these videos because man this life it, it no balance you day twisted okay so now the question is who is to blame is he to blame or are his victims to blame from the clip that we saw hold on let me just try to play the clip again so you can see the full picture and then we will talk about this don't go away i'll be right back Well, brothers and sisters, you have seen the clip for yourself. I believe it's self-explanatory. I do not need to explain this further. Dr. Naka was knocking the victim and you could see that, you know, it just looked like there was consent. It felt like there was a consensual agreement. Sorry about the noise, please. It felt like there was a consensual agreement between the victim and the Dr. Naka. Now, the thing is, I've seen a lot of people argue about this. I've seen a lot of videos, comments, people putting blames on him, people saying he's an occultist, and that's the reason why. Because don't forget that he made videos of this. He was in the knocking process with them, and he sort of recorded this. Now, the question is, why would he want to record himself knocking his victims? Now, it is said that he is an occultic i don't know i don't have the facts to that so i'm not going to lay too much on that but it is said that he is an occultist and he uses these women for rituals i don't know about that i'm not going that way i'm going legally speaking right so 
the question is a lot of people say oh the women should be blamed you could see them you know it felt like they were enjoying it it felt like they were you know receiving the baptism of the knocking session all right why the other <laughs> oh, jesus is lord let's take a break and we'll be right back who is to blame in any same country the general principle or the general rule of law is that as a medical practitioner as a doctor goes against the ethics the rule of law that a doctor has sexual relationship or intercourse with his patients all right in the vicinity of where he works or outside the vicinity as long as it's a patient and doctor relationship it is not allowed ethically speaking okay now the question may be what if the patient makes the first move isn't the doctor supposed to let his guard down and just throw everything down and fling it here and there for her no you are meant to politely decline the offer as her doctor and that it is what it is meant to be but of course my country my beautiful beloved country nigeria will that happen will dr femi just walk away free doing this to married and unmarried women or will he be called to the books will he be held accountable for his actions let me know what you think in the comment section do you think that dr femi or Lalaye should be held responsible and given punishment for his acts or do you think that he should walk away free because it was consensual the women enjoyed it they threw the legs apart for him to come in to the sanctuary let me know in the comment section i remain trisha king your storyteller until i come again next time it's bye for now